Anthony Van Dyke was a child prodigy. He provides this extraordinary fluidity, the kind of realism that we now see almost as modern painting. Van Dyck is the artist who comes to Britain and changes British painting. If you think of Tudor portraits rather stiff and formal, he sweeps that away, and I think this self-portrait really represents that extraordinary change. He was a member of the court, and yet somehow his painting goes well beyond the idea of court or aristocratic circles. It feels like it's painting for everybody, about everybody. This painting is now under uh, acquisition, if you like, for somebody who wants to export it, and our opportunity is to match that at 12 and a half million, to be able to buy it for everybody in this country, to be able to keep it on public view and to share it around the country. That's what we're very determined to do. We have paintings by Van Dyck in the National Portrait Gallery collection, uh, Wentworth and Verney and Venetia Digby, but there's nothing to match the idea of a self-portrait. Uh, and indeed there's no other self-portrait that would ever become available. And indeed nobody else paints Van Dyck. This is the most beautiful portrait and the sense that Van Dyck has just almost stopped painting, he's looking around, he's almost greeting us as we've come in the room, almost as if we've disturbed him while he's painting. It has a fantastic immediacy. Whatever the gap in time from when he was painting it, it's as if he was working on it now. And when we look at it closely, we can see this very, very fine brushwork of the face, very, very close rendering of his eyes around the mouth and the nose, but then this wonderfully fluid, looser painting of his collar and the lovely stripy uh, shirt that he's wearing in smock, perhaps. It's a wonderfully rendered piece. It's just fabulously controlled. Of course, the National Portrait Gallery has portraits of the good and the great, but also artists. And of course, those artists are nearly all self-portraits. We have really one of the greatest collections of self-portraits anywhere in the world. But we're missing a Van Dyck, and this is the painting we need. This is 370 years old. We have to think about the next 370 years and see whether we want to have this extraordinary painting available as part of our culture and history here in Britain.